Oh my god. Hi guys. I just thought I would go over um, your homework with you. I know it was a pretty involved assignment. Um, so I'm going to start off with typical things that you find in a blood vessel. So what I've done here is drawn a blood vessel and I put a variety of things from your homework in there. So the first thing that I've drawn up here, you can see it in yellow, is um, albumin right here. And albumin is a plasma protein. It's made by the liver. And its purpose is to help maintain blood pressure by pulling water into the blood vessel. The second thing I've put in here that would be found in a red blood cell, uh, or sorry, in a blood vessel is our red blood cells. And these have cell membranes that are made of phospholipids. They um, are filled with hemoglobin and they contain iron that's able to bind and carry oxygen. By the way, all of that hemoglobin that's inside the red blood cells is made uh, or is a protein. Okay, next up, iron um, is transported in the bloodstream by a protein called transferrin. Transferrin is made in the liver, like virtually all the plasma proteins. And that iron gets transported around the body. One of the places it might need to go is to the bone marrow in order to um, make red blood cells there. Okay, number um, four, right here in green, this is glucose. It's a carbohydrate and it provides uh, quick cellular energy. And so you should always have maybe 70 to 120 milligrams per deciliter in your blood. Um, number five, go up here. Uh, these are, this purple thing right here represents a lipoprotein. Lipoproteins, also plasma membranes that are, or proteins that are made by the liver. And they um, have a phospholipid um, membrane uh, and there's cholesterol embedded in this membrane to help provide stability to the lipoprotein. And the inside of the lipoprotein will often be filled with triglycerides or modified cholesterols that can then be carried around the body. Um, lipoproteins are named based on how much lipid they have in them. The more lipid they have, then the less dense they are. And so we can call them very low density. Those are mostly filled with triglycerides. Low density lipoproteins will carry uh, less triglyceride and more proportion of cholesterol. And then high density lipoproteins that don't carry very many triglycerides, but do still of course contain the cholesterol. And some recent research I've been reading about is that the cholesterol is actually quite important for the structural stability of the lipoprotein in the bloodstream. Okay, then uh, number six, right here in pink, we can find antibodies in our bloodstreams. Though those are proteins that are made by white blood cells. And a white blood cell uh, that's specifically um, called a B cell or a plasma cell. It's a type of lymphocyte. Um, and, oh, antibodies are also referred to as immunoglobulins. Okay, then... Um, Next up, uh, I put a little bit of cholesterol in uh, the blood vessel. I'm not sure why I did that. I think I was maybe sticking it to a blood vessel wall in this picture. Um, oh, yeah, that's what I was talking about, that it spackles or repairs blood vessel walls when they are damaged. Um, basically, what can happen in disease states is that the lipoproteins, when they bump up against the wall, uh, they may actually be taken up by white blood cells in the blood vessel wall, but that's far beyond the scope of our notes right now. So um, now let's move on to number eight. Uh, clotting factors can be found in your bloodstream. These are proteins. And I drew one, for example, like fibrinogen that is uh, really all globular. And then when it gets activated, by enzymes, it can sp stretch out into these long fibrin strands that help to um, form clots. And then that so sort of brings me to number nine, enzymes. So we have lots of enzymes in the bloodstream, particularly important for blood clotting reactions in the bloodstream. Okay, so I think that's everything for that picture. And again, remember the purpose of this page of your notes 
was to think about what substances are in your blood vessels and are they made of proteins, carbs, or lipids? And you see that we had some of each of those. Okay, so now we'll go to our next picture. Actually, I think I might stop it there and see how this new video thing is working for me.